the way I look at it is that it's been so hard over the last two and a half years to predict anything with respect to the pandemic. We are constantly thrown curveballs. And so I, I am at a point where I recommend people make decisions based on the information we have today, because we do not know what it's going to look like even tomorrow. Um, and so when you look at all of this and you look at the unknowns and you understand the position we are in today, my recommendation would be for everyone to go get their booster now. So uh, I think fourth doses clearly are indicated for individuals who are over age 50. Uh, and of course, people who have underlying conditions that would make them a little bit more potentially uh, susceptible to severe disease and or um, less of a long duration of effect from their, um, you know, their previous vaccine or third dose. But the other group that I actually suggest uh, it's worthwhile to get a fourth dose in is uh, younger and healthier people uh, over the age of 18 who are more than six months from their shot, uh, third dose. And that's because the third dose really uh, does provide protection, at least well-sustained protection for about six months, but likely is beginning to drop off after that. And of course, with BA5, which has some uh, evasion of the immune protection that you can get from a previous infection and or vaccine, uh, that's really important to try and get that shot if, if, if a long period of time has gone on, more than six months since your third dose. So there's two different philosophies about vaccination strategies. And one that Kieran Moore and the provincial government has taken is that the most important thing is to keep people out of ICUs and hospitals. And in that case, there's two priority groups that are, are key to this. And that would be anyone who hasn't had a third dose, because with Omicron, two doses is not enough to keep people from getting seriously ill. And then people who are immunocompromised or older. The second philosophy is one that I prescribe, or I uh, subscribe to, I should say. And the second philosophy is that uh, by minimizing the number of infections that occur, you minimize the number of infections reaching those vulnerable populations, you minimize the number of days off work and disruptions to a healthcare system, and you minimize the long-term health effects that can happen in even younger people. And it's pretty clear that with the Omicron variants, and especially with the BA5 variant, you only get about three months of protection from symptomatic infection. Um, and so if you want to keep those infections minimal in number, minimal in symptomology, uh, minimal in days off work, minimal in disruptions, then you really do need to have a sort of fresh dose.